Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to work on a fundamental athletic drill that people have been practicing for thousands of years, the single arm heavy club inside circle. When we start with a heavy club, we usually start with two hands on the club. We work on swinging laterally because clubs do this better than any other type of athletic equipment. Then we will take away one hand and we will work on swinging with just one hand. That changes the way our core fires. It changes our base of support. It changes the way our hips fire. All of these exercises are foot exercises, knee exercises, hip exercises, core exercises, shoulder, elbow, and hand. It's the whole body all the way together. The heavier the club, the better you get at the thing that separates humans from everything else, our ability to throw. We always check when we start an exercise that we are swinging perfectly laterally from side to side. In the beginning, if people are not used to this, they will start to swing in these weird lines around their body. Focus on this straight parallel line. When people deviate from that, they tend to clock themselves in the leg. Do not hit yourself in the leg with a big, heavy chunk of iron. It's generally bad, just don't do that. Let's talk about the two hand inside circle first, then we will take the bottom hand away. Step up to your club, two feet point straight ahead. We do not turn out. You do not turn out naturally. You have been modified by the world into a specific type of stance. Point your feet straight ahead. If your feet move when you're doing this, reset them every time when you change hands. Two thumbs point towards the sky. Stack your hands on top of each other. Pick the club up without hitting yourself in the teeth. This is your order position. This is important. Your arm is parallel to the ground 90 degrees. If your hand is too high and you see this finger sticking out in any weird way, lower your hand down until you can close your hand all the way. Inside means your top hand moves towards your center line. Rotate, this starts with the legs. Top hand, same side leg loads. Push, swing, pull, catch, come back to center. My feet did not move. My ankles, knees, hips, and spine moved. Rotate, push, swing, pull, catch, stop. After we have gotten good with two hands, then we will eventually take the bottom hand away. Right now I'm just touching with what we call sword fingers. Top hand moves towards our center line. Push, swing, pull, catch. When we get more comfortable, the bottom hand will come away. Our hand will go to the bottom of the club. We rotate, push, swing, pull, catch. Rotate across, push, swing, pull, catch. Rotate across, push, swing, pull, catch. Rotate across. When you come to the center, straighten out your legs all the way. Stand all the way up. Most people who live in the modern world do not actually stand all the way up because we are highly specialized to sitting. So at the balance point of each movement, focus on straightening your legs, heels on the ground, feet pointed straight ahead, squeeze your glutes. If your glutes aren't squeezed, you're not standing up yet. If we do reps with one hand, we need to do an equal number of reps with the other hand. Humans should be equally strong with both sides of their body. Hand moves towards our center line. Rotate, same side leg starts the movement. Push, swing, pull. When I catch, I absorb force with the opposite leg. Stand all the way up, come back to center. Rotate across. Push, swing, pull, catch. Come across. Push, swing, pull, catch. Stand up. Rotate across. Push, swing, pull, catch. Stand up. Rotate across. Push, swing, pull, and catch. Come back to center. This movement is important because it is what you might think of as the origin of a cross in martial arts, rotating across your body. It is the same base movement you would have in any throwing sport. Baseball, throwing across, football, throwing across. You can start with a light weight, learn to stabilize your spine and build up to a heavier and heavier weight over time. The goal is for men to build up towards at least a 30 pound club with one hand movement. In order to get there, athletes should run a two-handed program with five weights. Think of club swinging like Neolithic Olympic lifting. Long before there were barbells, people were swinging clubs to develop the movement patterns that they needed to survive. 
we should go back to working on all of those patterns. The world does not operate in straight lines up and down. Everything out in the world is some type of rotation. Heavy club swinging is the way that you train rotation. Clubs don't go bad, they're cheap, they're effective, they're portable, and they do exactly what humans need to do. They are levers and you learn to swing them to eventually improve all of your throwing patterns.